Four years ago, a group of talented students accepted the challenge and the opportunity to form the second class of the Honors College at ECU. They all came for different reasons, but were united in their shared goal of success. From day one, you know, we, since we did that service project and I found one friend, that gave me the confidence to, you know, kind of dive into college with both my feet. We just really felt this, like, overwhelming peace. Um, that ECU was a place that I would do well in. I was going to have a setting where I could make a name for myself and um, pave the path that I wanted and I know that I could not have done that at any other place. From serving the community through colloquia to broadening horizons through honors seminars and presenting research for the Senior Honors Project, they have been challenged academically since the very beginning. Being a part of the Honors College mostly to me means being a part of a an elite group of students that really cares about their education. You know, a lot of the Honors College students, we tend to be this, the same type of student in high school, so we kind of get each other. We tend to be the same type of student in college, we just get each other on the academic level. But also, um, I don't know, just, just constantly being around people who are also leaders um, kind of just keeps challenging you and encouraging you and, and gives you a stronger identity with yourself as a leader suffering through classes together sometimes, you know, we all had those rough nights, but your fellow honor students were there with you all every step of the way, trying to succeed just like you were. Sometimes when we get into college, we get so focused on what we're studying, and it's kind of good to explore and find new interests as well. It's one thing to learn in the classroom, but another thing to go see it in real life. That makes all the difference in the world when you're learning about something outside of your realm of expertise. I think one thing the Honors College has really grown to do is kind of offer a variety of experiences to their students to help them discover new things about themselves, new interests they might have, new paths that they can take in their life. They each pursued individual dreams and goals, making an impact on campus, in the community, across the nation, and around the world. I originally came in as a pre-dental student after taking um, a few different classes, I kind of discovered that really wasn't my passion anymore. And some of the Honors College faculty and staff and even students helped me point in the right direction in my future career as a lawyer. The best part about Honors College has been that, like, no matter how far apart we've gotten, like, with nursing and pursuing physical therapy, um, and we've always had that one thing in common. It gave me the opportunity to study abroad. Uh, if I hadn't had the scholarship during the regular school year, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to study abroad. And that was wonderful because not in my wildest dreams would I have ever thought I could study in London, England as a 19-year-old. So it's really, really encouraging when after a show we go downstairs and meet some people in the audience and there's somebody from the Honors College there. I didn't even know they knew about the show. Um, and they're saying, you know, congratulations, you did such a great job. I think it's been a great opportunity um, to be able to represent um, some of the best and brightest students on campus in an organization that is solely representative of the students. For me, the Honors College has given so much. So working as an employee and helping to build a better program for future students, I think is extremely gratifying. Without my membership in the Honors College, I would not have had such academic success. And I think it's really helped me become the complete student athlete that I wanted to be. With each step they took, they impacted the Honors College for the better. The previous class, you know, were the guinea pigs, but we've kind of, you know, I think been the class that's really been trying to help make those changes. I have a teammate now who's a freshman in the Honors College, and it's been really cool to be able to share my experiences with her and see what she's doing and how kind of the footsteps that we placed have been impacting the classes behind us. I know the Honors College has grown tremendously in the past few years and the direction it's headed in is going to make it one of the best, if not the best, Honors College, you know, hopefully in the United States. So I feel like really confident about the direction where it's going and I'm really proud to call myself an Honors College alumni. But perhaps one of the most unique things about this Honors College class is the community they created along the way. The relationships they formed made a large university feel a lot smaller. I think I'll walk across the stage with probably the greatest gift that the Honors College could have given me, um, which is the community. You know, all living in Garrett together and then going to class and a lot of my friends from Garrett would be in class with me 
and living and learning trips that all be the same group of people. And I really enjoyed that group that I became accustomed to early on in college and just grew up with me through my four years. And that really made me thankful that I came to an honors college and um, got this exposure and this opportunity. All of these people are, they are my family. You know, we're not blood related, but we've been through so much together. And that home away from home has been the most important thing in my college career. There was times when I didn't think I could do, do things and I didn't believe in myself. And more than once, people like Mr. Baxter, and Dr. Fairley and Dr. O'Connor looked at me and said, you can do this. Like, I believe in you. And so like, that just means the world to me that they believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. Coming in, um, I already had an immediate family, not only the students, but the faculty and staff, um, a lot of my mentors I came to grow really close to, and you know, I can call it my home. It's really great to have that network of contacts and friends um, going out into the real world. It kind of makes it a less scary place. College is a time when many people find themselves, and through the Honors College, these students were able to find something truly incredible. I think the Honors College has really taught me that um, I have dreams and I have values and that there are big things that I want to change in the world and that I just don't have to take no for an answer. Um, that I've been given the tools and the resources and the opportunities to do things that are meaningful and do things that mean a lot to me um, and that I can go and I can do it. It's kind of inspired me to push myself further and just to not be satisfied with where I am and just keep pushing and progressing. So I think being a student in the Honors College has really meant just somebody there to tell me that, you know, I am a leader and there is something different about me. Not necessarily better than the rest of society, but something different about me that means like, I really can't do anything. The Honors College has taught me what it's meant to earn my success and the power of working hard and having an experience based in integrity. I was given the tools to be able to navigate who I am as a person um, and come to the conclusion that I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. so. And that I, I, can, I can be that person, I can be that change that I want to see. And I, I don't think that I would have been able to come to that on my own. I think this was a key part of me being able to realize that as well. Four years ago, they walked in as individuals with blank canvases and great ambitions. Today, they graduate as a family with amazing achievements and unforgettable memories. What I will take away from the Honors College is um, the attitude that I should go big or go home. Oh, you want to see something change? Like, oh, you have that question? Well, go change it. Go answer it because you can do that. One thing that I'll take away from the Honors College after I graduated is just the importance of serving the community and making a positive impact on those around you. Being able to walk across the stage and know that, yes, I can do something. I have done something to be here. And everyone watching you knows that you've done something to walk across that stage. I'm just, I'm very thankful, not just for the scholarship, but for the opportunities that I've been given. And I hope I show the Honors College proud when I go to NYU in just a few weeks. It's going to be incredible to graduate, finally. <laughs> I'm just really in kind of this group of people that can change the world. And not just talk about changing the world, but we really have the tools at our disposal and the personalities that it takes to really make an impact. So my experience with the Honors College hasn't been about changing myself. It's just been about um, molding and using the tools that we've been given to, to build our best selves. Through all the experiences that I've had in the Honors College, I've been able to grow and mature and become a person I'm proud to be today. You know, the scholarship money is great, but I feel like the ECU Honors College offers much more than that. It offers a support system, which is really important, um, and it's something that a lot of students don't really get to experience in college, and we're very lucky to have had that. Great people, great hearts, great opportunities. For me, like, family is so important, and I mean, I didn't have that, you know, when I came to ECU, I didn't have my family. And just having, you know, the Honors College there to support me never made me feel as if I wasn't at home. And that's what a family is, that's what a family does, is they're those people that are there through good times and the bad. And, you know, I've had good times and I've had bad times. And, you know, my friends that I've made in the Honors College, the relationships I've made through this college, 
has been what's helped me get through those times, and that's what a family does. And, you know, I don't think everyone has that when they go to college, but I did, because I was one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Congratulations to the ECU Honors College Class of 2015.